everyone, this is FJ and I'm on $1eyelashes.com's YouTube channel. I'm going to teach you how to apply false eyelashes um, and I'm going to be using a couple of products from the website. Um, first and foremost, I'm going to introduce to you this wonderful glue here. It is a non-allergenic waterproof eyelash glue and it's exclusively available on $1eyelashes.com's website. I haven't ever found a glue like this. It dries clear. It's gentle on the eyes, so especially with those with very sensitive eyes, it's a great product. Um, and it's also waterproof, so I know that a lot of people uh, tend to have watery eyes, and this is the product to use. For every eyelash lover, this is their dream come true, and every makeup artist should have this in their kit. So um, I'm very, very excited. I'm going to um, use this glue to apply false eyelashes, and I'm also going to demonstrate how it's waterproof. I'm also going to use a couple of eyelashes from $1eyelashes.com's website. This first one here is um, lashes in the style of S uh, S2. Yes, S2. They're very natural. I'm going to use this for the first segment. I got a little dirty because I was preparing. Um, and then this next one here is going to be used for the second segment. They are $1eyelashes.com in the style of C4. Love, love, love. So um, they go for $1 a pair, of course, and they come in pairs, I'm sorry, they come in boxes of 10 pairs. Um, so it's going to be available on their website. August 23rd is the launch date. Make sure you go onto their website, subscribe um, for any specials or any um, news on um, products and upcoming products as well. First and foremost, I'm going to start out with a clean eye. I've um, wiped out, well, most of the uh, eyeliner and mascara off of this eye here. And I'm going to use the S2 eyelashes from $1eyelashes.com. Take a tweezer, move it from one side to the other, gently, like that. Next, what you're going to want to do is cut the lashes according to your natural lash line. So it's going to end about right here. You don't want to go any further than that because when you open your eyes, if it's all the way over here, it's going to drag your eyes down. And the point of the lashes is to open up your eyes. So I'm just going to go, you know, I think these fit just perfectly so I don't need to cut them. Um, but I'm just going to cut one off to show you. You would just snip it. And again, you snip it on the side that is closest to your outer, um, outer eyes, outer corner of your eyes. Next, what you're going to want to do is remove the excess glue off of the band of the eyelash. Next, I'm going to use some uh, glue from $1 Eyelashes, the one that I showed you before, and it comes in a really cool bottle with an applicator like this. So it's easy to use, easy to apply, just apply it right on the band, and apply enough just to cover the band, not too much, because if you apply too much um, glue, it takes longer to dry, and it's not necessary, it's sloppy, and your eyes get all... Uh, sticky. So just like that. Okay. Okay, so after about 15 20 seconds, the glue becomes tackier. Like that. And after it becomes tackier, you're going to want to um, apply it to your lash line. Or right on top of your lash line, I should say. So you're going to take a tweezer, hold it like this, and with your fingers on the other end, you're going to want to apply it directly on top of your lash line.
And because these lashes are synthetic, they're more durable than natural or um, human hair lashes. So you can actually just grab the fibers and pinch it a little bit and what I'm doing is I'm just applying pressure to the band so it adheres against the um, my lids like, like that. And then troubleshooting here, if you can see that little part, I've applied it a little bit too high and I want it to be as close to my lash line as possible so I'm just going to hold my lids and I'm just going to scooch it down as close to the lash line as possible like that. So if you can see the placement of the lashes right on top of my natural lash line. It's not going to be right over, it's just on top of it. So you can see that. Oh. Scooch that down just a little bit. And then what you want to do is press it up like this. So every part of the lash is even and it's flipped upwards so that it opens your um, your eyes. A lot of people just leave it and it's kind of flipped um, facing down and that makes your eyes really sleepy and weird so you don't you want to avoid that. Okay so just use your hands from end to end flip it up. So now that you know how to apply false eyelashes, I'm going to show you the waterproof portion of the eyelash glue. So um, you can see the lashes that I just put on. I'm going to apply. This is just basic water that I got off the sink. So I'm just going to spritz it with a lot of water as if I'm in a pool. Okay. I'm just going to close my eyes until all the water drips down here. And then you can see it's still on and if I pull it you can see that it's still adhered onto my lids even at a tug like this I'm just gonna add a little bit more here and you can see how the, the glue dries clear so there's no residue like latex glues Okay, and it's still on. Okay, and then what I'm else, what I'm gonna do is show you how to take them off. Simply from one side to the other, like that, and it comes off. So the hold is great, but um, taking it off just go from one end to the other. And it works out excellent and it doesn't hurt your eyes at all. Okay, so this time we're going to start from scratch and I'm going to show you how to apply everything that I would showed you previously with makeup application. So um, you're going to want to start out with eyeliner and curling your lashes. Um, you can do eyeliner first and then curl or curl and then eyeliner. I like to curl first So what you're gonna want to do is just give it a little pinch not too much because you don't want your eyes to be too curly. It's gonna be um, Really tough to get the eyelashes on um, If your eyelashes are if your natural eyelashes are in the, the way so Just give it a pinch so it stays up like so Okay and then what you're going to want to do is tight line your eyes so that it gives it a good solid line. And then I'm going to go on top of the lids like that. Okay, so after you're done lining your eyes, you're gonna I'm gonna take these lashes in the style of C2 from one dollar eyelashes.com's website and I'm gonna remove it from one end oops, one end to the other off the QVC tray. And then I'm gonna take the excess glue off. 
so after I take the excess glue off, I like to just bend it like this. These lashes are actually pretty flexible, um, and they're very gentle and light on the eyes, but sometimes you'll get some lashes um, elsewhere where it's very hard, and this kind of just makes it so that it's more flexible around the eyes. Next I'm going to measure my eyes according to my natural lash line. So it looks like I'm going to be cutting about two off on the end over there. So I'm going to cut two large fibers off. And then what I also like to do is cut off any additional bands that don't have fibers because you want these to look as natural as possible. So you don't want a lot of band. Next I'm going to use the eyelash glue by $1eyelashes.com and apply glue to the band of the eyelash. Okay, so after you've been blowing on it for about 15 to 20 seconds, it looks just a little bit tacky like that, the glue. And then you're going to use a tweezer on one end and finger on the other and apply it to just right over your natural lash line. Okay, so make sure it sticks properly. Again, just pinch the fibers and press the band into your lid from end to end. And then you're just going to want to push the lashes so that they um, flare up and open up your eyes. And then I'm just going to take some Maybelline Colossal Mascara. And you're, you don't want to use too much mascara, just I just clean it off a little bit so I don't get too, mi too much. And then bind my real lashes and my fake lashes together. Okay, so this is the final look from $1eyelashes.com, lashes in C4, and um, using the um, non-allergenic waterproof glue um, that dries clear from their website. So um, I hope that I was able to show you how to apply false eyelashes in a way that you would understand. If you have any questions regarding troubleshooting or anything like that, feel free to post them in the comments and also um, contact me on my blog which is www.flowerjump.com. Thanks!